Hi guys, Yuri here again. Welcome to YB Plays Music. So, we have seen practically all the basic chords there are on guitar so far. And last week, I explained to you guys some chords that could theoretically exist, but actually those names are not used because it can be uh, much simpler than that. Today, I'm going to try and link all the basic chords together for you guys so you understand how you progress from one chord to another chord slowly. So I'm going to show you some examples. Last week we used a keyboard of a piano so you guys clearly understand where certain notes are located and how they are linked together, how that works exactly, how an octave works. So keep that in mind. It can be very helpful to watch that video first before you watch this one because it's very handy if you know how the keyboard of a piano looks. I'm going to start off with an example. We can start off, for example, simply with the A chord, which is right here. And I'm not going to explain all the chords. This is not about learning the chords. This is how you can link them together. So if you want to learn how to play those chords, I have a whole list of learning how to play a certain chord. The link for the A chord will be somewhere above here because that's the example that I'm going to start off with. If we want to go through the whole octave of chords, then we can just simply do that by moving up one fret at a time. And that way we can get all the chords in that format. So let's start for example with the A chord, right here. Okay, so if we want to progress, the next chord is actually half a tone higher, being the A sharp chord. And that's right here. Okay, but this also, like I told you guys in some of the tutorials as well, this is the same as another chord being the B flat chord. The A sharp and the B flat are the same. Because the next chord in line is the B chord, which is half a tone higher than this. Now, if we go half a tone higher, if you watch the last video, you will know, half a tone higher than the B, is the C chord and not the B sharp chord. The B sharp chord is not used as a name, but it's the C chord. So from the B chord, half a tone higher is the C chord. If we go half a tone higher than that, then we get the C sharp chord. Or the D flat chord, because half a tone higher is the D chord, like this. Still half a tone higher is the D sharp chord. Or also the E flat chord. Because if we go half a tone higher, we get the E chord. And then half a tone higher, we get the F chord, not the E sharp chord. The F chord, which is here. By the way, the higher you go on the arm, the harder it is to play though. Half a tone higher than the F chord is the F sharp chord which is also the G flat chord. Because if we go half a tone higher, we get the G chord. And that's already pretty hard to play right here. And there are easier ways to play that, but I'm gonna get to that. And half a tone higher than that is the G sharp chord. Hard to play. But that's also the A flat chord. Because half a tone higher, we again get the A chord but an octave higher this time. And this is very hard to play on this guitar at least, uh, so I try to play it lower than that. But so we have done a whole octave. Of course, we have another way of playing those chords. If we take the second way to play the A chord instead of the first one being here, that one is here. Now, from this point on, we can actually apply the same method to get to all the chords on the octave. So each time we go half a tone higher, we also get the same progression as we did from the first position on. All right. But in this case, it's hard to go a full octave higher. So in this one, we can actually go lower because there are some range to go back on the arm in this position. So from this point on, we can actually go lower.
to go to some of the chords that are harder to play very high. So now we covered all the basic major chords, being from A to A in the first position, and then go to the second position and then go higher or lower depending on what chord you have to reach. Then we can apply exactly the same for all the minor chords. We can start off again with the A chord, but the A minor chord this time. If you want to learn that chord, the link will be somewhere above here, but that's this chord. Okay, and then apply the same method. Each time we go half a tone higher, we go to the next chord until we are an octave higher. Then we're back at the A minor chord, but a little bit higher. The same goes for the second position. We have the A minor chord again in the second position. And from here on out, we can actually apply the same method, go up or go back, depending on what chord we need to reach. So that way we can reach actually all the basic major and minor chords, sharp or flat chords. That is the easiest that I can give to you to link all those chords together. I think if you get all this, that you can understand a little bit of the structure in an octave and all the chords that we've seen already. So next week, I'm gonna show you the three first chords that I've ever learned on guitar. So stay tuned for that one. I hope you learned something again today, guys. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and share the video. Also, don't forget, I have music videos and reaction videos for you guys to check out. So thank you very much and see you guys next time. Bye. But actually the name the how to get from the one how you how you get to show to show clearly how uh how notes are working um uh in and how and how um so yeah so today um or also the or also because half a tone hover so from this one to go to to go through go go further go further i use my rhythm i hope you learned i hope you i hope you learned